Last year we sold our house and we packed all our stuff into storage. So I've loaded up the car, hooked on the camper and decided to go and see this beautiful country of ours. When we get back from our trip we want to buy our own small farm so we're hoping to be encouraged by the way others are growing their own food and loving it. We want to be encouraged by meeting new people and hearing their stories. And to top it all off, we're excited that we've got another little one on the way. So join us on our journey of being Wookiees on the road to becoming farmers. We travelled a day to Cow's Nest from St Albans and we stopped in Kayama. We did. In a little coastal town and had some burgers at a really yummy place. Delicious. Evie was pretty buggered. She was enjoying her, her driving, but she was well and truly needing a fuel up. Yes. <laughs> She's turning up the cow's nest. And then we arrived at cow's nest. And cow's nest is different to the last farm in that it's a community farm and everyone works in together to help the farm keep going. Some of the people that live here, Leo, or as Evie calls him, the man with the bun. Francie. Francie. She's and got so much energy. Fede, she's the Italian. Yes. Anna. From Sweden. Makes a mean blackberry jam. Yes. And then there's the artiste in residence, Craig. Then we've got our four Belgian boys. The lads. Bonjour. Another really cool part um, that we were really keen to be involved in at Cow's Nest was the fact that it's an animal sanctuary. So they rescue like a lot of wallabies and kangaroos that get yeah. hit by, like the mums get hit by cars. And that's where Evie met her little friend called Tippy. Have you settled in really quickly again this week? She is just absolutely loving it. By the first morning that we were there, she had the boys showing her the teepee and Fede making her a cake. And Francie took Evie to um, feed the chickens. She gets the chooks to come and eat on top of the xylophone. So, so they play music. <laughs> they go, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> She's really reveling in this like type of environment. Yeah. She's just off doing her thing, you know. Yeah, she comes back to us occasionally. Hi, Mum, hi, Dad. <laughs> You know, nice to see you today. She's had, having an absolute blast. It didn't take long for us to learn about the morning rituals of milking the cows. Oh, my girls, Astrid and Libby. So six o'clock, 6.30, the girls are there, ready at the gate, ready to you know, have a feed, bit of... Milking. Milking. And soft hands, I think. I soft, think that's what they liked. Yeah, right, that's it. <laughs> Leo and I had to go down to the creek. And the best part about the river is that it runs from National Park, so the water is just like crystal Pristine, clear. All like, filtered by sand and rocks and, you know, an untouched paradise, really. Yeah. Yep. And they have a pump there that had a few issues, it was all, you know, filled up with rocks and sand. So, you know, we got that fixed up, tidied up, cleaned up, put it back in, job done. Ev got her first leech. Oh, she did too. And I spotted it when we were getting back in the car and I was like, don't tell her, don't tell her, there's a leech on her. But yeah. Leo was really nice and he took us back to his place, which wasn't far from where we'd gotten the pump out. And I didn't know that this works, but you put salt on the leech and literally it just like popped off. I'm sure if I got covered in salt, I'd probably go, yeah, that's just clay. So just, what is it for? It's for, for putting where the, where the leech was. It'll, it'll get a little bit itchy and this will help stop it itching. <laughs> oh, cool. But will it go away in that? Will it go away? Eventually, yeah, it just washes off. It'll just dry up and wash off. You're really yeah. brave then. Yeah, Great job. Right. That's well done. <laughs> So one of the jobs that Anna asked me to help with this week was to um, help her with her new market garden that they're doing. So they've got like this big area that they're going to do like all fresh veggies in and she's made these like round veggie patches. Yeah. And what they're trying to do is grow enough food at Cow's Nest to take to Pottery Palace. To make the food to yeah. sell. So we've made some cool new signs and we named the garden. The Tippy Garden. The Tippy Garden. So after Tippy, the little um, wallaby that little Anna's mate. been looking after. We got some garlic from the neighbour, and then and literally it's just like the, the garlic cloves that you buy at the supermarket, and then we open them all up, and then you put each individual clove like into the ground. And all you need to do is pull back some of the dirt, pop one in, and cover it over. And then we're going to put a bit of water over the top.
and then voila, it'll just grow garlic just like that. Hey, what have you got? What have you got? Oh, where'd you get these from? <laughs> from the chicken pen. From the chicken pen. Oh, we nearly lost one. What happened under here? I cracked an egg. <laughs> Why was it under your arm? Because I dropped it one of these and I tried it to go on, then I accidentally cracked it. You accidentally cracked it? Oh well, thanks for picking the eggs up. What are we going to make with these eggs? We are going to make some things like, like... Chocolate. Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake? And for the market? Yes. Yes. Okay, put them in there and we'll put them in the pantry. Gently. Good job, buddy. So then we have the Candelo Markets where we all make cakes and jams and they have like the Cow's Nest Cafe. So like the whole community come together and they're just awesome to be at. You know, they have some really cool stuff. This morning we're at Candelo Town Hall and we're ready for the Cow's Nest Cafe. It's freezing cold but we've made lasagna and pies and jam and cakes. So we're going to go inside and start setting up. Really, we're busy working and setting up. <laughs> it was so cool to like play cafe for a day. Yeah, it was. So Anna and I made some blackberry jam for the market, which was really cool. And there'll be more info on that on the blog. So we'll put the little recipe up there for you to try. Well done. So we spent our last day um, at Cow's Nest, we actually went to Pottery Palace, which was really cool. It's just like all rescued animals, yeah. which was so cool. Have you got to explore that? She loved the dingoes, actually. She keeps talking about Shiloh, the alpine dingo and stuff like that. So, so while these two get to go and check out the park, what am I doing? And Dean built a new chicken shed for them. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Good supervising. So we've had an absolute ball this week at Cow's Nest and Evie has loved it and we don't want to move on. No. But we have to because we have a ship to catch. Bop, bop. We're off to Tassie. Tassie, we're coming for you, Tassie. See you soon. <laughs>